I got some questions about this workbench. I made a, a separate build video on the actual building process of, of this workbench, but I thought I'd make a separate video about um, some of its features and how I use it, what I like, what I don't like, and so on. But if you haven't, check out the build video as well. And, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. One of the things that I wanted to use this workbench for is to, as a base for concrete casting. So self-consolidating concrete casting of furniture, um, sinks, tabletops, things like that. And in order to, to be able to do that, you need it to be level and strong enough so it doesn't bow. Because if it's on a level, um, the concrete will cure with one side being thicker than the other, or if it's bowing, naturally the like the bench tops or the, the table tops will be, be bowed as well. So the first feature that I'm going to showcase is, is this. I have made <coughs> In a build video, you'll see what uh, how it actually works. Here is in each of the corners. In addition to in the middle here, I have the uh, possibility to actually lower or um, raise these caster legs, and that way you're able to to level the the table completely. The process is very simple. You just put uh, a level across the table like this, and you just lower and raise, it, raise the, the table accordingly until you have a completely level table. On top of the workbench is a sacrificial MDF sheet that is, it has holes uh, drilled on about every 15 centimeters. And what they, these holes allow you to do is to do a few things. The first thing is that you're able to hold down um, your workpiece by positioning clamps like these. They don't have to be Festool, uh, there's a ton of manufacturers, so I just happen to have the Festool ones. So you can put um, this down and you can clamp the piece down like this and it holds it really, really fast. So Another um, useful application for these dog holes is if you have something that you need to clamp together, whether it's too big or like in this case where it's not like completely straight, I can just place one piece um, with these bench dogs, like it can be these or, or any, any other type of bench dogs, like this, and then put the glue on, and then use one or two or whatever, how many I want to have, like this, just tighten it down and this is completely sealed off. If, if these are big pieces, I can also uh, use one of the clamps to clamp it down in the middle. Uh, obviously you need to find another hole to do that. Another way to clamp is to use the vise itself. So you can use the fancy uh, dogs that I just showed or you can just use these ones that are just like homemade. Um, the principle is the same, so you just Clamp it down like this, open up the vise, glue or whatever you need to do. So obviously these are pretty simple and contrived examples of, of clamping, but it's, it's a lot of versatility in terms of how you can clamp. The pieces can be long, wide, whatever you need them to be. Another thing that is very useful by having all of the pegs in a square pattern is to be able to cut materials like this sheet. So just put two dogs down and then a third one over here, making this into a perfect square. All you have to do then is to, to take the guide rail and your saw. you have a perfectly 90 degree angle. I also wanted these bench to be able to fit all of my Festool sustainers. So I have a door here to be able to pull out all of the sustainers, which makes for a pretty convenient way to both store them away, but also easily access any tools that I need whenever I need them. This short end, I have uh, room for one of my uh, cases 
for tools. Uh, here you can also see uh, a locking mechanism for the legs if you want to lock them down. Uh, I think this is actually not needed because the, the legs stay in place perfectly when you put them in. These are just inserts for uh, my router because the router table lives here normally. On the other side of the sustainers I just have various tools, um, a router and a few other things, that uh, screws and, and such on, that I don't use that often. This is where the, the table saw slides into, so this part is usually almost covered up. On this side I have the bench dogs, um, some clamps for uh, horizontal clamping, and also the other clamps for holding things down to the bench as well as a tool and uh, the thing that I use to, to uh, adjust the level of each of the legs. So the vise is uh, a Lee Nielsen chain drive vise. It's a uh, non-racking vise. As you can see when I turn here, this one turns as well. There's a chain and some sprockets on both sides uh, inside. Uh, I actually managed to break one of the sprockets uh, and Lee Nielsen sent me free of charge of course. Um, new sprockets and a new chain which were much sturdier. They, the, the original ones were cast iron and didn't hold very much. But you can see here that I can, uh, I can clamp this down really tight and it doesn't wreck that much. So it's, it's pretty good. It's still a little bit like... I, first off, because I broke the other one, I'm a little bit scared to like really crack this all the way in, like as hard as I can. And secondly, it's it's really slow. So like, if I'm doing bigger pieces, it just takes forever to crank it all the way out. So if I were to build this bench today, uh, I would definitely consider Andrew Klein's um, the twin turbo vise. One of the key things for uh, a workbench this size in a small workshop like this is to be able to move it around. Um, so you can see here, it, it actually moves uh, really well. These are casters from uh, Home Depot in, um, in the US um, and I'm really pleased with them. I have tried a lot of casters but I use these on both the, the work top and also my cabinets or the drawer cabinets over there and they're super sturdy so I'm just super happy with them and the locking mechanism is actually really good. Now I only have three wheels locked but there's no way you can, you can move the bench. And of course, one of the main features is as an extended outfit table for the table saw. So that last bit there is uh, what secures it firmly in place. So this is just like a press fit. It's worked fine now for several years and um, that's all there is to it. Remember to check out the workbench build video and subscribe to my channel.